Hello YouTube and welcome to our third 3DS Max tutorial. Sorry it's been so late but if you visit my vlog it explains why I haven't done one in a while. But so the last two tutorials we went over the basics then we created this very 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 simple temple. Nothing to be um nothing to it's not gonna sell basically. So we've got this basic thing here. Remember I'm pressing Alt and then the middle mouse button to move around. So what I said this tutorial is we're going to look over materials, the textures of it. Now we these, are, these have got colours at the moment so if we click it and go up here to the square with a rainbow in it called modify and we've got the name of it so we could just call this roof and then we've got the columns which will not name yet but we can change the colour of it. So if we click it we can change it to blue. So we've got a blue roof, but it's not brilliant, it's just colours, it's, you're not going to get very far. So we need some proper materials, some real good materials. So we can change it black if you want, but that looks terrible. But yeah, so if you press Alt and W you get full screen, because it's always easier just to go around. If you don't want to press that, you can press this one down here, um, maximise viewport, it looks like a small box going into a big box, but yeah. So we need to assign some materials, so we need a roof texture some column textures and some patio textures. So if you go to Google, um, I've already found a roof texture, that'll be in the description. So I'm going to use that and I've also found a column one but I need to find a patio one. And I thought it was important to show you what keywords you need to include in it. So first you want to always start off by typing seamless. Seamless basically means that if I were to be able to get this image and put the exact copy next to it as well, so you've got two, you will not be able to tell where one ends and when one begins except two sides. So you won't be able to see end, begin, and begin. So yeah. Um, so you always want to start off with seamless. Then you want the name of your texture, patio. So I want patio. I don't want patio doors. But then you want always want to put texture because you can just get seamless patio a picture of a door which isn't what you want. So you want to type texture. So as you can see we get up some good ones. So if we were to I don't know, pick a good one. I like that one. It looks weird. So we'll have that, we click it with new Google it pops up. You want to view the original image and if you go back a minute you will actually see the size of it there. You always want to make sure it's squared, so it's always the same number times the same number. If I had 1024 times 512 you will get a lot of errors and that will look very weird. So make sure they're always the same. So 512, 1024, um, that one is, I can't tell but I know that one's right. So we've, they're all the same. So right click, save image as and find where you want to put it. I want to put it in desktop and YouTube model here. So we'll call this floor. So we've saved it, it downloads, we can go back in 3ds Max. So here's the materials we've downloaded. They're all JPEGs, it doesn't matter what they are, 3ds Max can import most of them. So if you go to this and press M, literally click on nothing and press M. Because if you click on something it will mess up your model. Because if I click this one and press M, it makes it more curved. Like if I were to turn that to an editable poly, it would look more curved, so leave it. If you don't get this exact one, you will get this one. When it loads, there we go. You should get that one. That's it. If when you press M, default you'll get that one. If you're 3ds Max 210 upwards, like me, I'm on 2013. So you'll get that one, which is good, but I really don't like it myself. So if you just go to Modes Compact Material Editor, you get the shortened down version. It's much easier to use. So what we're going to do is drag this to the side and open up our window here. So we'll get a roof one, click and drag, drag it to the ball. And you'll see it's been textured, is it? So we can leave that there. Then we'll do our floor and then our column. So we've assigned the materials to it. Works. But we've not actually assigned the materials to it yet. Um, so we're going to click this roof and we're going to drag it to what we want it to. That. There we go. So as you can see, we've got a texture. As you can see, it's not brilliant on the front but we can change that in a minute yeah we can change that soon so now we want to select assign it to the four materials or one so instead of going to sign assign 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 select all your materials by clicking and dragging and this is the column one click and drag and you get this option do you want to assign it to the object you dragged it to or do you want to assign it to all of them well we want all of them so click selection click ok 
Now they all have it. It's really helpful. Again, with the floors, select them all, drag our floor on, boom. Selection, there. So I've got our materials. To be fair, it looks a bit crap at the moment, but we, can, we need to edit it. So just save it, just in case. So which one are we going to edit first? We'll edit the roof. So, um, first go to your polygon mode, which is you press 4, or you click the little square, and select the sides you want to be able to edit. Well, frankly, I want to edit them all. So we'll just select it all, because, I, because they all need to be resized a little bit. So what we're going to do is to edit the texture of it, we're going to basically flatten all of that down, fold it, fold it down like a box. So you fold the box up to make a 3D cube. So a flat piece of cardboard, you fold it up, you get a cube. But if you were to lay that cardboard flat and paint a texture on it, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be painting that flat texture. And then when we click render again, it's going to fold it back into our triangle shape. So if you don't get it, you'll see it in a minute. So if we go to our modifier list, while still selected our polygons, and press the U key, you'll get unwrap UV here. If you don't, just look for unwrap UV and click it to add it. So we've added it to our modifier list. And as you can see, the modifier list is huge. You have a lot. Some of these we will be going over, like cloth to make tablecloths or clothes, um, sm um, turbo smooth, shell, um, we'll be going all over lots of these. These are some really good tools what can help you. And I'll be giving good examples as well. So you get this new one. It, you, Depending on what 3ds Max you have, it'll look different to this, but there will always be one button called Open UV Editor. Click it. And then you'll get this here. And this is a new window you have to learn. It's called Edit UVs. You can maximize this if you like. Um, I'm personally just going to keep it down. But so what you're going to do is across the top you get your tools move so you can click on vertex and move it so we just edit and do that you got rotate you can rotate one that's obviously not going to work you got your scale which is we scale it up so if we were to select multiple ones scale it so we can do that we've got the scale, average scale so we can position where we want one of them and then we've got symmetry so it mirrors it to the other side but we don't need none of that yet what you want to do is go to this drop down box at the end and click it you'll see check a pattern which is the background and then a, the a material what you've assigned or you can pick some more but if you just click the material you've assigned you can see it so I just think it helps a lot more so if we were to grab this all of them and then just scale up you can see in the background it is changing it so if we watch and oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. So we select this, and we click this one, and then we pull it down. Is that the way we want to go, or is it across? Yeah, it's kind of both. We're just trying to make it look half good. But I want them black things at the edges. So if we select all this, there we go. What's this side look like? Yeah, I'll do. So you, this is just a quick job. It's not obviously going to look very, very good, but yeah. So these are still messed up at the front. So what we can do is if we go back to our modify list and press E, you click editable poly. Don't you can right click and convert if you like, but I like to add it to it. So if you mess up on one, you can go back to it. So if we go back to this and click the, that triangle there, and then that triangle there, so we can edit them because all these are the same. So we've got them too. Add the UV again. So modify list. U, unwrap UV, open UV editor, and then from checker to map, we can edit the individual triangles now, so we're not editing the whole thing. So if we click this and move it around, you can see it moves. Let's scale it down a little bit. We just want it roughly the same size as them. But that looks a bit rotated to me. Is it? I don't know. Let's rotate it a little bit and have a look. Okay, apparently it's not. There we go. Okay, I don't think it is rotated. I think it's just a mess with your eyes. But yeah, so we've done basic materials for now. So we've done them. Let's do our col our columns. Actually, look fine. Um, let's do these patios. So if we right click, convert it to an editable poly, boom, and we'll select the f edges around it, so these four, 
around there. And we'll just do one of them. So click that, UV wrap, and then open UVs. So we go back to this, click our floor. So what what do we really want it to look like? I think we just should have it as a grey column. So scale it all the way down and place it in one of these grey things. And now it just looks like a grey stepping stone. There we go. So let's see if we can clone it. So right click, copy. That seemed to have worked. Click our next one. Convert it to an editable poly. And paste this back on it see if it works. Paste. Oh, that didn't want to work. So if we click Open UV Editor, let's see what's gone off. So that didn't work, but at least we save us our job of rendering select everything. It's copied the selected vertices. So if we go back to this, drag it up here, let's get it down some more. So we've got a grey looking box. And it's messed up, but yeah. So to basically done over materials. Um, I could go through and do everything, but I know you won't want to see that because it'd be a bit boring. But you can spend a lot longer. You might want to get some different textures for the side of the roofs. Um, scale the columns down so you can't see every single dimple. Um, definitely take more time on the steps, but yeah. So thanks for watching. This is a basic tutorial of materials. I hope you liked it. Um, any problems, comment below. And see you next time.